Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out PlayStation 4 games being played over PlayStation Vita Remote Play. Today we're taking a look at the Golf Club. Now unfortunately this game, despite being a relatively good fit for a system like the Vita, doesn't actually have that many Remote Play controller... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Optimizations? So it's L2, R2, L3 and R3 on the back. That's pretty obvious, right? Unfortunately we don't really have much to work with in terms of controls either. Since you can only change whether or not you swing with the left or the right stick. There are some options in gameplay that let you turn off some cameras. If you don't like some, some specific cameras. But I don't think that actually affects what buttons are used via remote play. Which is a little bit of a shame. But we'll just hop directly into a game that I was about halfway through. And we'll just give it a look. Alright, so here we are. So, the idea is that you use whatever stick you aim with to move your aimer. I guess that's what it's called. I don't really know what it's called. And you use the left stick to swing. Which is pretty obvious. Okay, that was a little weird. The biggest issue with some people with the remote play controls might be the ones on the back. So, the ones that we start off with here is R3. And this actually changes our shot camera. So, if you're not careful, your finger might slip and you might swap your view by accident. There's also shot modification, so if you hold L2, you can actually... Uh, you used the wrong analog stick there, I'm sorry. You use the right or left analog stick, depending on which one you feel like, to shift your shot. Which might be a bit of a pain for some people. It's not that big of a deal, I mean, you do have to do a little bit of finger yoga in order to get this working in a relatively reasonable way. But at the same time, it's not really that big of a deal, and it's not like your finger's going to slip too much, but it's always worth mentioning for those people who have problem keeping their fingers off the rear touchpad. I played a couple of... God, I'm getting all the messages today, I'm sorry. I played a couple of holes with Remote Play, and... God damn it, there's Windows Update. I've played a couple of holes on Remote Play, and the game does require you to be a fairly precise with the analog stick movements, because as you can see that that red cone is where you can safely hit without the ball going leftwards or rightwards. It's a little bit of an issue. However, it's not as big of a deal as you might think, because the PlayStation Vita analog stick actually suits to it fairly well. I haven't had that many problems aiming or getting my shots right. I'm just terrible at golf, so it just kind of carries over here. I've never actually played a physical game of golf, but this is a Fairly good golf game, nonetheless. Ah, uh, just missed it. Yeah, thanks, mate. Really don't need your snarkiness. I'm already snarky enough for most people, and they say that... Two snarks don't equal a qu I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But yeah, the remote play controls, I mean, other than the ones that you might run into issues with on the rear touchpad, it does seem to work fine, and you can swap to the other analog stick. So, just for the purpose of demonstration, I'll swap to the other analog stick, even though you can't really see what I'm doing. It's not like it's actually going to matter. Okay, so let's just save an exit there, pull back, and I can now shoot with the right stick. I actually prefer shooting with the left stick. Or, is it swinging with the left stick? I guess, I'll, I guess it's swinging. But yeah, I, pref I prefer the left stick, uh, but the right stick also works pretty much fine. Let's see, seven yards. Can I modify my shot to make this a little easier? I, I don't even know. Let's just let's give it the maximum amount of power. Let's go down to the putting camera. What about the scout camera? Okay, I'm going to have to aim a little bit to the... <sighs> wrong stick. Going to have to aim to the left a little. That was way too much. <laughs> really should have thought that one through a little bit more. Okay. Just got to get closer to the hole. There are graphics options you can change that might help out a little. I'm really not good at putting. There are a couple of graphics options you can change that might help you out a little, like V-Sync and Depth of Field. 
Might be worth turning on V-Sync, but it might actually reduce the responsiveness of the controls. <laughs> Shut up, mate. But yeah, it's a, it's a fairly good implementation of remote play, even though it's basically got no effort. You don't really need to worry too much about it, but at the same time, it's what, just worth mentioning that it's not exactly fine-tuned for remote play. And that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. So this has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.